Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher on Indigus Man, and our topic for today is Simple Annuity for Grade 11 General Mathematics. An annuity is a sequence of equal payments or deposits made at a regular interval of time. So at the end of the lesson, the learner will be able to illustrate simple and general annuities as well as distinguish between simple and general annuities. And finally, compute the future value, the present value, and the periodic payment of simple annuity. The next thing that we will talk about are the terminologies related to simple annuity. So first, we have the term of annuity in symbol T. So that is the time between the first payment interval and the last payment interval. The next one is amount or we call that one as the future value of annuity in symbol that is F. So that is the sum of future value of all payments to be made during the entire term of annuity. So the next term is the regular or periodic payment in symbol that is R. So it is the amount of each payment. And finally, the present value of an annuity or in symbol P. So this is the sum of present value of all payments to be made during the entire term of the annuity. To illustrate the simple annuity, let us consider problem number one. Mrs. Francisco would like to deposit 3,000 pesos every month in a bond that gives 9% compounded monthly. How much is the amount of the future value of her savings after 6 months? So let us consider first the given. So the per periodic pe payment is equal to 3,000. The term is 6 months. The interest rate per annum is equal to 9%. Well, the number of conversion per year is equal to 12. And the interest rate per period, that is J, which is I on the over M, that is 0 0.0075. So let's move on to step number one. So that is illustrate the cash flow in the time diagram and find the future value of all the payments at the end of the term, which is T is equal to 6. So let's have the diagram here. As you can observe, so this is the latest payment. So meaning to say it does not okay, earn an interest rate. So if we will follow the formula, it means that our exponent here is equal to zero. So that is why here we have 3,000. Next, on, okay, we have here uh, Time in months, which is 5. So we have now, so that is actually 3,000 times 1 plus our I is equal to, okay, 0 0.09 and M is equal to 12. So that is why, okay, the exponent here is equal to 1. So meaning to say it turns already an interest after a month. If we will follow the sequence, here we have, okay, 3,000 times 1. 1.0075 raised to 5, meaning to say after 5 months, okay, this is already the investment, okay, the future value of the investment of 3,000 pesos. So it means that we have 3,000 pesos times 1 plus 
0 0.09 all over 12 raised to pi. So this is the diagram. So the next step is add all the future values obtained from the cash flow. So we have here 3,000, okay, so times 1 plus 0 0.0075 raised to 0, so that is still 3,000. Upon computing, so we come up with these values, okay, then add them. So the sum is actually 18,340.89. So therefore, the amount of this annuity is 18,000 pesos, 340.89. If you observe a while ago in our steps 1 and number 2, so in constructing, the cash flow is quite laborious. So what we're going to use now is the future value of annuity formula. It means the future value of an ordinary annuity with regular payment R at the nominal interest rate I compounded M times a year after T is, we have here, F is equal to R, raise the expression, 1 plus I all over M raised to MT minus 1 all over I, all, okay, over M, such that the J is equal to I over M and N is equal to MT. So take note that, okay, R is the regular payment, I is the nominal rate, M is the frequency, T is the time, okay, J is the interest rate per period, N is the total number of payments, and F is considered as the future value. Let's apply the formula in problem number one. Recall that the given R, R is equal to 3,000 pesos, time is equal to 6 months, or that is equal to 0 0.5 year and the rate is 9% or the nominal rate is equal to 9%. Okay, M is equal to 12. So that is the number of conversion per year. And the J is equal to 0 0.0075. So we have this formula. Substitute the value. So we have 3000 times 1 plus 9% all over 12 raised to 12 times 0 0.5 minus 1 all over, okay, our J. So, using our calculator, we will come up with the value of still 18,340.89. So, this is the shorter way, okay, if we will use the formula instead of the cash flow. Let us consider the problem number 2. John wants to save a certain amount of money at the end of every month to put in an account providing 2% interest compounded monthly. His estimated startup capital is 100,000 pesos. If he wants to start a business in 1.5 years, how much monthly deposit must he put into the account? So let's identify the given. So we have the I is equal to 0 0.2 or 2%. So M is equal to 12 T is equal to 1.5, future value is 150,000, and we want to find out the regular payment. Since we know that the given are here, so let's apply the formula that the future value is equal to, okay, regular payment times, okay, the expression 1 plus I all over M raised to MT minus 1 all over I all over N. Then substitute the given formula. However, we are looking for the value of R. So what we're going to do is divide both sides of the expression of 1 plus 0 0.2 all over 12 raised to 12 okay, times 1.5 minus 1 all over 0 0.2 all over 12. So meaning to say you can factor out the expression. What expression? So I can factor out this expression. Okay. So we have now that is R is equal to 150,000 divided by the expression 1 plus 0 0.02 all over 12 raised to 12 raised to 1.5 minus 1 all over. That is 0 0.02 all over 12. Compute using our calculator. So R is equal to 8,215.90. 
So it means that John must deposit 8,215.90 at the end of each month. Since we know how to calculate the future value of annuity, so let's move on now this time to the present value. So let us consider problem number 3. Mrs. Reyes would like to deposit 3,000 pesos every month in a fund that gives 9% compounded monthly. How much is the amount of the present value of her savings after 6 months? So again, so let's identify the given. So the I is equal to 9%, M is equal to 12 then we have here time is equal to 6 months or 0 0.5 year. Then we have the R is equal to 3,000 and we want to find out the present value. Let's have our step number 1. So that is illustrate the cash flow in the time diagram and find the present value of all payments at the end of the term which is T is equal to 6. So let's have here the illustration or the diagram. So this is our present time and this is our future time. So observe that, okay, 1 is the nearest to 0. So that is why, okay, our exponent is equal to negative 1. So it means after a month. So that is after a month, okay, okay, with our present value. So that is why if you will observe the exponent is actually negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. Observe that the part is, okay, is actually in a time of 6. So therefore, our exponent is negative 6. So this is the farthest from our present value. The next step that we will do is add all the present values obtained from the cash flows. And here are the values we obtain from our cash flow. So, say for instance, we have 3, 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0075 raised to negative 1. So, this is equal to 2,977.667. On the other hand, if I have 3,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0075 raised to negative 6. So, this is the same as 2,000. 868.474. So the total value is 17,536.79. So therefore, the total amount of the present value of annuity is 17,536.79. Like what we have done in the future value, we can use the present value annuity formula. So the present value P of an ordinary annuity with regular payment R at nominal interest rate I compounded M times a year after T years is this formula. So we have R is equal to 1 minus 1 plus I all over M raised to negative MT divided by I all over M. Or if J is equal to I over M and N is equal to MT, we can use another formula. So the derived formula of the present value is this expression, wherein R is the regular payment, I is a nominal rate, M is the frequency, T is the time, J is the interest rate per period, N is the total number of payments, and P is the present value. Again, let's utilize the formula in the problem number 3. Given that the I is equal to 9%, M is equal to 12, T is equal to 0 0.5, while R is equal to 3,000 pesos. Using the formula, so the present value is equal to R times the expression 1 minus 1 plus I all over M raised to negative MT divided by I all over M. Substitute the given values. So, using our calculator, we have the P is equal to 17,536.79. So, using the calculator, guys, and the formula, so the amount of this annuity or the present value is 17,536.79. Let us move on to problem number four. Nicholas currently has 100,000 pesos and is invested at 3% interest compounded annually. How much withdrawal can be made at the end of each year so that the bond will have zero balance at the end of 12 years? 
So let's identify first the given in order to solve this problem. So we have the present value of 100,000, term is equal to 12 years, while the interest rate per annum is equal to 3%, and the number of conversion per year is equal to 1, and the interest rate is equal to 0 0.03. And we want to find out the regular payment. So let's apply the formula since the given i is equal to 0 0.03, m is equal to 1, t is equal to 12, p is equal to 100,000 pesos, which is the present value, i is 0 0.03, or j is 0 0.03 as well. So the formula of the present value is equal to r times 1 minus the expression 1 plus i all over m raised to negative mt all over 1 plus i over m. So substitute. However, we are looking for the r or the regular payment. So what we're going to do is divide both sides of the equation by the expression 1 minus the expression 1 plus 0 0.03 all over 1 raised to negative 1 times 12 all over 0 0.03 all over 1. I can factor this one out. So therefore, that R will give us the expression of 100,000 divided by 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.03 all over 1 raised to negative 1 times 12 all over 0 0.03 all over 1. So using our calculator, so R is equal to 10,046.21. So therefore, so the amount of purely withdrawal is 10,046.21 cents. So that's end our discussion on simple annuity. Again, this is Teacher on Guzman. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.